fact, I don't really smell it. I mean, I can smell something, but I can't really place it. This can't be that bad, right? I mean, if you don't smell it, it can't really have that much of a rancid or repulsive flavor, right? This is actually quite good. Uh, roasted eel, it doesn't say exactly, I can't read the ingredients really on this or anything. No, I can't, I, I'm sorry, I can see it now. Uh, eel, sugar, salt, soy sauce, which I don't taste at all actually, I taste the sugar, it's sweet. Um, and some other stuff I can't pronounce because it's all chemicals to preserve it. Try again. Actually, you know what it tastes like? It tastes, it tastes almost like uh, that, you know, Chinese barbecue pork. Only it's eel, so it's like got that sweetness to it, but it has a completely different texture from that uh, pork. But it's good though. I think I might actually like that better than the uh, mackerel. Okay, we've got one more thing. The roasted eel with fermented black beans. This one I'm expecting to be somewhat pungent. Oh, by the way, I'll show you the can again, just as a reminder. Here you go. The ingredients in this, uh, eel, fermented bean, sugar, salt, water, and soy sauce. And again, with the other, the preserving agents, whose names I could probably pronounce if I really cared to, really take the time to read it. Both, both the uh, roasted eel varieties, by the way, contain MSG. Just thought I'd point that out. Which, by the way, ladies, if you go for a pregnancy test, will show up on the pregnancy mm. test. So make sure you tell your doctors you ate eel or bagels, by the way. Okay. That's Dasha, by the way. I thought I would, um, like, come in and say that because there was a lady on the news a while back that got her baby taken away because she had a... MSG in her um, system. There was a misunderstanding that she ate a bagel that had it on it. How ridiculous. Okay, here's the eel with fermented black beans. Uh, okay, you can see the black beans at the, at the top there. We're going to give this a try. Now, I'm not afraid of, of this at all. I mean, fermented beans you can find in you know, it's like a basic element of food. If you eat soy sauce, it's in there. If you eat miso, it's in there. If you see a nosy dog behind your back trying not to beg, <laughs> that's our mascot. Missy, our mascot. Hi, Missy. Okay, I'm going to give this a try. Here we go. Oh, it even has a black bean on it. On the, looks like a little roach, actually. <laughs> She's trying so hard to be good, but she wants to see... Peter's doing. That's all. Tastes almost identical to the other one. I don't really taste the black beans at all. They still get that sweet kind of Chinese barbecue taste. It is. It feels drier though. I'm going to try it. I think I'm going to be brave. I don't want her to eat it though. Okay, come on, wait, Missy. So funny how each uh, 
None of these are that bad. I wasn't expecting they would be. So I was just curious. They do look like oranges. Really, I was just curious about them. They're good. Well, that's really good. I actually think they're better than, like, American sardines. It's better than Indian sausages. Yeah, one thing, you, you can identify what it is you're eating in these. <laughs> I got a good piece of this mac with I the ginger. I gotta get my pellet cleanser. Oops. This is still really good. Richard, where, by the way? Probably on the shelf. I really can't say that I have a favorite out of these three. I really can't do that. Um, they're all really good. I mean, so if you're expecting me to, like, rip into this and stuff like that, you know, you're not going to get it. You're not going to get but something. You have to like seafood, though. Um, I know lots of people don't even like eel because of the name or what it looks like. It looks like a sea snake or whatever. But... And, you know, the Japanese really eat rice with all their stuff, so what we're doing is not really bad. This is the plain... Roasted deal. Oh! That's good. His wall behind him, we just put up. I'll tell you a little factor about that. Kind of with this bean. Okay. I do know a difference now. I can kind of. The one with the fermented beans is actually sweeter. Mm hmm. The one without is kind of saltier. But now that I've had the eel, remember how I said that the mackerel wasn't that salty? It tastes saltier now by comparison, simply because it doesn't have that sweet to it. I think the mackerel... But it's not, it's not salty. It would have to have mustard. Just because of the salty. I don't know, though. I mean, if you tried it. I am now trying the mackerel rice between the tastings. And my palate cleanser is cracker. I am kind of insulted though. <laughs> Look how pretty that looks. See the hatching and stuff on it? That right there, that's just basically fresh mackerel that hasn't been preserved. So it is false advertising. It really is. I was still in But I forgive him because this is actually good. It's actually quite good. I'm going to do his roll by trying everything twice. This time I'm putting a little bit of hot sauce just to see the difference. The spice is so cold. I actually set up for this like over an hour ago and I'm just now getting around to starting this video. It was kind of my fault. As you all know, women take longer to set up for anything. The hot sauce gives it a little flavor to it. Um, add a water bottle. Missy, what did you do with mommy's water bottle? I always blame everything on the poor dog. Oh, I'd say poor dog. She spoiled his. I'll get out. Just because she always runs off with my hair ties. Not as salty with the hot sauce. Well, anyway, if you live in a 
part of the country where you have access to, like, Asian markets or anything like that, and you like seafood or you're not, a, I guess, put off by the canning process or canned seafood or whatever, or if you like sardines but we're wanting something different even, um, I would suggest you go and seek these out. It's just, you know, roasted eel. There are two different types that you can find. I mean, I'm sure you can find more than that. These are the two I happen to pick up. And then, of course, there's the mackerel. Now, well, um, the salted mackerel fillets in oil with ginger, I guess. Now, they cost about a dollar sixty-nine a can. That's like each of these. It's not bad at all, considering how well traveled this is. I'd love to see its passport, actually. Well, I suppose I have no parting thoughts, but, you know, if you're curious about something, life's too short to just sit and wonder. You gotta go out and get it. So, bon appetit.